Hi guys, welcome to TechBased. In this video, we're going to talk about the latest Windows 11 Insider preview build for the Canary channel, which is the build 27695. And in this video, as always, we're going to talk about what is new, what has changed, and also what is fixed in this latest Windows 11 Insider preview build for the Canary channel. So of course, if you enjoy videos like these, please don't forget to leave a like below and also subscribe to TechBased channel with the notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future uploads like this one. So let's begin with the video. First of all, Microsoft is announcing that also on the Canary channel, they will start to test out a new position for the widget entry point if you have your taskbar set to left or a left aligned taskbar. And if you have this enabled, and of course you are enrolled in the Canary channel, you may notice that the widget entry point would be moved near the system tray in the right side. Microsoft is also providing some info and also documentation regarding the Windows local administrator password solution. And on their official Microsoft blog, you can see more info about retrieving encrypted passwords during active directory recovery situations. So if if you're interested in that you can check it out also one thing that i didn't show you whenever we were checking the version you'll be able to see that the expiration date for insider preview builds flighted to the canary channel should be updated to the 15th of september 2025 in my case it is the 16th of september so i'm not sure if that's a bug or something like that but it's pretty interesting also one other interesting thing about the settings app is that if you go into windows update and then install updates and the updates that you're installing require a restart microsoft will begin to show an estimated time for how long the PC will be offline to install the build. The estimate will be shown on the Windows Update settings page and also via the start menu power button. Also in settings, system and then notifications, you'll start to see an option to turn off the suggestions to disable notifications from certain apps. And you're going to be able to find this under the notification suggestions inside system and notifications. In the sharing section of Windows, Microsoft is also adding the possibility of sharing a file directly to your Android phone. So in the new share section, if you have that rolled out, you're going to be able to directly share a file to your Android phone. And also Microsoft is providing the same update to the widgets board to improve security and the APIs for creating widgets. And of course, more info about that can be seen in the article below. Also, another thing, if you go into settings and then network and internet and then Wi-Fi and you connect to a Wi-Fi connection, of course, and then you select your Wi-Fi connection and then go to the Wi-Fi network password section and then click on show, you're going to notice that Microsoft has started to update this section to better match the Windows 11 design principles. And then of course, in this section, you can see your Wi-Fi password and you have the QR code that you can scan in order to connect to that network. We also have a few fixes in this build, for example, related to the File Explorer, Microsoft Fiction issue, where when pressing Win plus E, a screen reader might unexpectedly say a pane had focus, or focus may not be set within File Explorer at all. Fix an issue which was causing Control plus F to sometimes not start a search in File Explorer. Fix an issue where keyboard focus might get lost sometimes when doing Shift plus Tab in File Explorer. Fix an issue causing screen readers to not announce when you were opening or navigating items in the breadcrumb flyouts of the open or save dialog and also fix an issue causing screen readers to not announce anything when opening or navigating items in the column header flyout and file explorer related to the task manager fix an issue where the colors in the performance section weren't displaying correctly in dark mode related to windows sandbox microsoft fix an underlying issue which could cause windows sandbox to fail to launch with error 0x 800 7005 sometimes also we have a few other fixes for example microsoft fix an issue where when installing windows by booting from recent install media it wouldn't make itself the default partition if an Another version of Windows was installed. And there are also a few other fixes and known issues that you can check out, but of course you can see those in the article below or on the official Microsoft website. So this was the video for today. This is the latest build for the Canary channel. Yet again, I have to remind you that these features and these new builds are not tied to any specific new version. So certain features from the Canary channel may ship sometimes or never. So if you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to leave a like below and also subscribe to the TechBase channel with the notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future offers like this one. I was Emmanuel from TechBase. Until next time, have a nice day.